guys, welcome back. It's gonna be our second movie review. We're gonna see Horns. And we have Abdiel with us. <laughs> Hi, uh, so today is Christmas Eve and we're about to see Horns. And we have some friends here. This is Wilbert. Hello. <laughs> we're gonna see Horns with Daniel Radcliffe. Let's see how it how is it? Yeah. How good is it? And we have Abdiel's brother, Jaciel, yeah. and his son, Gabriel. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, see you in a little bit. Let's, right. see, let's see how it is. Hey everybody, we're back. <laughs> we just saw Horns, starring Daniel Radcliffe Horns. and Juno Temple. This is our first movie um, with the director Alexander Aha. Uh, we've never heard of him before until right now, this one. And I'd say for me it was a weird experience yes. because the first hour you're not quite sure where the movie is heading. It has its funny moments every once in a while. Um, I like the idea that everybody tells him the truth whenever they talk to him. Um, sometimes very unnecessary and when he touches them he <laughs> sees w whatever they flashbacks. flashbacks they recently did. Um, some were uncalled for I guess. <laughs> A um, couple of scenes were pretty gory. I mean, the, overall, the movie is somewhat violent and gory. Um, a lot of sex scenes in yes. it. Yeah, which uh, it's a, not a PG-13 movie. It's a B-15, no? I think. Yeah. B-15. So. Uh, but we saw uh, a lot of kids on the in la sala en la que estábamos. How do you say sala? In the yeah, room. In, in the in the in the room. In the cinema. In, <laughs> yeah, in the cinema. We saw a lot of kids going in to see the movie and we thought because I was going to bring my brother my brother is 12 years old but then in the end uh, he couldn't go and I'm actually glad that he didn't go because uh, some parts were pretty hard to see I mean a kid his age that gory or the sex scenes it's I guess it's too much for yes. a kid his age to see yeah well uh, but go back to the movie it was really good I think it it's, it is a weird experience indeed, you know, uh, it has this dark touch, uh, Daniel Radcliffe, I, I think I only saw him, besides Harry Potter, in like two or three movies maybe, but this is a completely different acting job for him. Uh, he had to have the American English accent, and I think he did pretty good, but in sometimes you can still listen, you know, to his British natural accent I don't know Wilbert what did you think about yeah, the, the when movie yeah when you see uh, Daniel acting in a different movie all came the thoughts is it's Harry Potter and you're always thinking like him he's, he is playing where's his Hermione? role yeah <laughs> where's Emma Watson yeah. where is where is Ron Weasley and in the first the scene like when he is lying down with this girl Marion it was like for me like this the fault of the stars same scene and some part of the movie I think were like different movies <laughs> they was real fun you have like, a lot of gore and yeah, comedy and everything that was a weird mix of a lot of yeah I, I really like the the soundtrack the movies the first the, the songs I mean the first song this uh, heroes by Debbie Bowie I was like ah oh, perfect song you know and I, I something I always look about the uh, the movies that I really like is the first line you know the Daniel Brack laugh I don't even remember what he said but the girl you know like are you horny are you horny I cracked up <laughs> yeah, that yeah, one. That was like, was... they really picked up great 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 scene I'm warm up I think he said yeah I mean the movie's called horns and the first thing she says is are you horny you know I just started <laughs> laughing yes, watching that Casiel you want to say something? Bueno, este, en español. Sí, en español. <laughs> eh, me, me gustó la película, muy muy interesante, pero muy irregular en sus en sus escenas. De repente tienes que fijarte hasta que surge el flashback para que puedas entender la conectividad en la película. Y realmente lo de los cuernos nunca lo entendí, a final de cuentas, ¿no? Yeah. Este nunca se explicó cómo cómo surge por qué es una sí, maldición es una, maldición, una bendición exacto. o algo así y, 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 y por qué solo él exactamente 
Ajá. Y yo la verdad coincido con la, con la idea que estábamos platicando hace un momento de, de por qué por qué continuar la, la historia después de la carta, ¿no? Yo soy de la idea de que me hubiera quedado con la carta, ciertas escenas de, de más y, y ya, ¿no? Y con, continuar con, con, con lo demás, devolverle un demonio, se me hizo como que exagerado. Exagerado. Y era un demonio muy débil. Muy débil, sin poderes, sin, sin arte, sin nada. No podía ni defenderse, se me hizo muy irracional. Muy trágica, sí, ¿no? muy, sí, sí, una muerte muy... Muy difícil, ¿no? Un final muy, muy triste. Muy triste. So? Sí, ya, yeah, I agree. Um, what Hesiel said about movie ending right around the part where he reads the letter that after she died that she had cancer and oh, it was yeah. her plan to leave him just so he wouldn't. Twist. That was a good twist. I like that because from what we were seeing, I was pretty confused where the movie was heading. Yeah. And then the mo the scene with the letter, I said, okay, okay, th this can work, this works. Yeah, that, that was connecting. But then more it came after, sense. and it was just like unnecessary. You yeah, know? Like, like it was an unnecessary seek of vengeance. Like right. Mm -hmm. Would you see it again? No, I don't think so. I think, w and it yeah. was a good job. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nothing. I wouldn't buy the DVD. Nick Nick detected uh, a couple of songs uh, in the movie that we actually listened in the Breaking Bad. In Breaking Bad. Yeah, there were one or two songs when I went, "Hey, Abdel, that, that, that's yeah, yeah. From, that's from Breaking Bad. Remember in season yeah, four? Season yeah. four, yeah. Yeah. If you haven't seen Breaking Bad, I don't know what you're waiting for. It's really if good you haven't movie. seen Breaking Bad, just go away. Just yeah. what are you doing? Unsubscribe. Do Unsubscribe. <laughs> what are you doing, watching? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we got, yeah, we did them up. The only one. Something I really liked was the, the flashbacks. I think they, they give enough time for you to understand the story. And it was really, really good, you know? Mm -hmm. When they're kids. The actress, I, I think, I don't think I, I've seen her before in other movies. And no. she's really, really pretty and really, yeah, pretty. Yep. No es no es la típica actriz bonita de, no. que sale en todas las películas, la, la, la pechugona, bonita, ojos verdes, no. O sea, como que se salieron de la de, de la línea de, nueva, exactamente ¿no? del estatus, ¿no? Y pusieron algo algo básico, simplemente una chica y, y vámonos, ¿no? Sin, sin más que sin, sin llamar tanto la atención. Uh -huh. Está bastante bastante bien esa idea. So yeah, that's uh about it. That's about it, our movie review about horns. Um, I would recommend watching it just because it's something different. It's something you haven't seen. It's not something normal you would see. Yeah, it has everything. It, it, it has a bit of everything. Body, it'll, body, it'll confuse you. But definitely, definitely, it's not a kids movie. It's not a kids movie. Don't don't bring don't your kids. Don't go with your kids. No. Even if it has Harry Potter in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot of swearing in it. The, yeah. the F word is in every other sentence, which yeah, is a in lot. The fifth, in the first fifth minutes, five minutes, it's like three or four times already. Yeah, yeah. And nudity, so. So, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll, nos veremos en el futuro. we'll see you in the future. See you in right. the future. All right, bye. I love you.